Okay guys, so I previously record how I dismantle all this old laptop. This is the back cover. This is the basal around the screen and this is the screen. Until I have the actual kit, I will not remove this wire just in case I need it to connect. But most kit connect directly behind the screen. I will show you in a second. But anyway, I will keep this wire for now. But the inches can go. Easy, easy. I thought it will come out more easy in that camera, but it's stuck in a hole. Now I have this screen, which is very thin. Well, it's a great screen, I love the, the image. Uh, so this is the number I need to order a kit. So I will use the screen and put it uh, in my desk so I can put pictures or my Rick stuff logo or anything else. So it add a techno style to my desk. Obviously, it's not completed. I believe I will do the same carbon fiber pattern that I did on my cockpit, which is very dirty. <laughs> but anyway, I will probably do that. I need to reinforce just behind this board here underneath the desk because uh, with the weight of all my stuff it start to bend a little bit in the middle so I will reinforce that I will install this glasses uh, right in the middle centered but I finally received the kit I need to connect the screen to a PC or a console or anything like that as you can see uh, here this is the DC power input this is an HDMI connection, this is a DVI connection and a VGA connector. Uh, here we have uh, audio in going to the PC and this is for headset or uh, earphone out. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, this and here on this cable, I will. This cable here is going at the back of the screen here and it is very sensitive this connection so I will need to be very careful when I will connect it and this board here is the control I have uh, if I start from here I have the power button after that I have exit select 
uh, right and left to navigate in the menu. This is the menu button and this is auto. I'm not sure what auto is used for, but as soon as I will turn on the screen, I will have a better idea of what button actually do what. So uh, now I'm at the step where I need to connect the board to the screen so I can see if this thing is actually working because I have another problem in the specs of this kit they require a power supply of 12 volt with uh, 4 amp or 5 amp the only power supply I have on hand at the moment is a 12 volt with 3 point let me uh, actually 3 amp I'm sure it won't be enough I don't know if it might damage something if I tried it uh, but before ordering or buying another power supply I want to try this because uh, it's only need to power the screen I won't have any other output a power output connect to this thing so it will only be connected to the screen and that's all so I want to give a shot to the 3 amp uh, power supply and see if this thing actually work. If not, I will buy a 4 hand, but I will try it with this one first. So let's pull on it gently. Last thing we want is break this connector here. So just to make sure, let's see. It seems like it is the same connector. Let's see if it will connect gently. Gently, gently. You could have put a little more cable on that thing. A longer cable, I mean. I hope you can see with my big fingers. There you go, it's connected. This is the only connector required on the screen. So I will turn it back or I will put it upside up it's dirty don't mind this I will take care of it later so now I don't have any PC or anything to connect to it but I just want to see if I can power up the board and maybe turning some bling on a screen So now there is power, the light is turning on and the screen is lighting up. So that's a good sign. Of course it's turning off because there's no signal. So if I turn it back on, will the screen turn back on again? Yes it is. So I will give it a shot with this 3 amp cable because uh, it seems like it's working. Okay guys, I'm in the shop. I'm starting to uh, carve this thing with the router. Uh, sorry with the, no the noise, my pool pump is working. I'm actually doing a backwash because, anyway. Uh, so I cannot turn that pump off at this moment. So yeah, I'm starting. The carving of the shape already traced the glass shape on the desk as uh, I'm using a board to sit the rotor on it so I don't get over the line. I will do that all around the glass pattern and after that I will go maybe randomly maybe not I will see uh, as I go uh, what technique going the best but I need to carve all this pattern and after that I will go a little deeper just where the screen will be sitting
Now I just adjust the depth of the next hole which will be for the screen itself. Uh, my screen is a quarter of an inch thick so I made it the depth 516 so I have a little spare so the glass doesn't sit uh, right on top of the screen. Uh, so now I will trace the square where the screen will sit or will belong and after that I will start carving this all as well.
If I'm done with the primer, as you can see, uh, it hides a lot of imperfection. I have still some here, uh, but with the carbon effect, I believe it will disappear in the patterns. So it's not a big deal, but uh, the, the primer is done. Here's just a piece of dust. Uh, this year there's a lot of imperfection but as I mentioned earlier uh, the screen will hide everything so it's not a big deal I'm getting ready to make or to spray the carbon fiber pattern. Uh, as you can see, my mat is pretty damaged just because this is the same mat I've used for my carpet. Uh, it will do the job just fine, but uh, it will be its last use since after that the hole will just be too small to do a great job. So as you can see it's not big enough to do uh, the entire desk on one shot so after I will spray it I will gently move it to do this section if, and after that I will move it again to do the hand or the right side of the desk. And by the way for those who haven't seen the video on my cockpit build uh, this mat is a simple rubber mat uh, that, you sh that is made for shelf so whatever you put on the shelf doesn't slip and fall on the ground. I bought mine on Amazon. Uh, you can buy it pretty much everywhere on any website as long as it has the right shape. As you can see, these are just squares uh, with a hole between them. Kind of a checkers design. Uh, so it's perfect for that. Uh, be careful when you buy your mat if you decide to do that because not all the mats have the same design or the same patterns so make sure to choose the right mat before buying it so you don't have the, the bad surprise and having to buy a new mat so you have the great or the good pattern or the pattern you, you want so now I will spray some silver on the desk dry completely and after that I will rub it with uh, a soft fabric a whole t-shirt will do the job just fine just to get rid of the fume on it and after that if I'm satisfied with the job I will apply at least two coats of clear uh, if not it's simple I just spray a little uh, shade of black on it and I reshoot or I respray a coat of silver because there's a little line here this strip here that's where i overlap the mat i miss this spot when i spray some silver so it might kind of align Okay guys, so I'm almost ready to install the glass on the top and the screen, but before that, 
Uh, I've installed the control box here. This is the power button with all the uh, adjustment, the menu button, uh, plus and minus button for adjusting everything. Uh, so I drill a hole on the side of the keyboard tray holder. Uh, yeah, I damage here a bit, but it won't show because it's underneath. And as you can see, I haven't bothered to paint the uh, bottom section or the uh, under the desk since it won't show as well so yeah I pass all my wiring through here and the hole for the screen it's here so it will be just the right length and I will be able to just stick the extra cable somewhere underneath with some hot glue so it won't dangle on the keyboard when I will pull it pull it in and out and yes as I mentioned earlier the hand of the PCB is sticking out of the box simply because uh, there was not a box wide a box sorry wide enough at the store but again uh, nothing will get in there so there's no danger that I hit it or I damage it by mistake unless I do it on purpose which I will avoid to. Okay. I'll go like that. That is it. This will be impossible otherwise. When it will be installed, there will be no problem that cable disconnect by itself, but in the meantime, you need to be very careful. There we go. And before sticking everything, I believe I will test it. And the power goes just beside. There you go, they're both connected. So the reason why I have two keyboards and two mouse on that trick is because this keyboard here with this mouse are connected to my new PC while uh, the one in the back and this mouse are connected to my F1 PC and I said F1 PC because I made an F1 logo on the side and I have a mouse without border installed on the rig so that's allow me to control both PC with one keyboard and one mouse but sometimes happen that I need to work or watch something online only with the F1 PC rig so in that case I don't have to turn on my new PC here uh, but therefore uh, this keyboard and this mouse are connected to the new one which means when it's not turned on they are not working so this is the reason why I have another keyboard in the back and another mouse here uh, and a big uh, tray like that is because if I want to use only this PC I need an, a second keyboard and a second mouse but most of the time both of my PC are turned on in the same time since uh, when I'm editing video and I need to work online at the same time I use both I don't use this one much to work online watch video or stuff like that uh, so I, I minimize the, the chance of getting a virus or 
having something corrupted so I keep my new PC clean and I do most of the online work with the old F1 PC so this is the reason why I have two keyboards and two mouse well, I can see the desk is about 98% complete. The only thing left is to make this screen functional. Uh, I will order a new harness to replace this because uh, my new harness custom made doesn't work. Because I just made a lot of change on this, but let's turn on the monitor and see what it looks like. Oh, that's a good sign. HDMI, I don't know. <laughs> Of course, now we have the reflection, but as you can see, my desktop is showing up correctly. Let cursor here. If I open, let's see, a file is turning up, and the other I can drag an air. Thing seems to work fine so from here I can put the promotion picture pictures gamer tag rick stuff logo 